Uh, tandem prusik belay on arrays. Uh, yeah, so if I rig these opposites, I don't really care. Um, I like to see the actual testing on that. The prusik mining pulley option uh, on a haul when you belay uh, with a tandem prusik. Although it does tend the prusiks when you come up right there, it doesn't guarantee that you're going to actually arrest the fall uh, or arrest it in a in a length that's uh, acceptable. Uh, this has been debunked, and if you don't believe me, you can go do your own homework and do your own research and figure out where that came from. Um, so we no longer use prusik mining pulleys uh, when we're doing tandem prusik blades on raises. Instead, we take our hand, we we draw out. We take all the slack out of this system here. Um, we don't want to belay here. We want this to be forward, taut, and we just pull with our hand as the load comes up through, keeping the prusiks dressed and set as we do it. Yeah, it's a little more cumbersome. It's a little harder to do, but that's what you have to do. Um, so fall, and then catching the fall is actually pretty damn easy. So. Um, Moving on. So BT is uh, kind of a, the evolution of the tandem pressing belay. Um, I only use one. Uh, it's an 8 mil BT max over one, in this case 6 over one, um, asymmetric pressing with air image vipers. It doesn't melt, doesn't glaze, easier on the rope, easier to, to hold in your hand, but the same uh, applies here. There's no more pressing mining pulley. We aren't pulling this down so that it can tend itself. We're just grabbing our hitch and as, it, as the load comes up, we just pull all the slack through nice and easy and then fall. And then it just takes care of itself. So um, doing the, these on raises is a lot easier than doing them on lowers. All right, moving on. Um, ASAPs. Okay. Um, it's kind of interesting that the ASAP is not an NFPA rated blade device, but we use it all the time anyway. It's kind of comical because um, everyone is all been up about G-rated carabiners and ropes, but they, they don't bat an eye about using an ASAP. Um, but it's fine, we do it anyway. On, on a raise, um, we would have to hold the ASAP forward and then pull the rope through, or a lot of people will just clip on a redirect on a carabiner or a pulley, it doesn't really matter. And when they pull this way, so there's a dead leg with a sorber that gets created, and this creates unwanted uh, distance should a fall occur. And that distance right here is what we don't we don't like. We want to avoid that distance right there. So what we can do instead of uh, just redirecting it through our anchor is just get a sling or something and extend out a directional. Uh, this can be a carabiner or a pulley. It does not matter. Um, and now when I belay on the haul and I pull up. I don't create any dead leg here and then fall. And there's very minimal that actually has to occur. So let's do this again, so fall, and I let go. And there's very minimal extension. That's one way to do it. Moving on, uh, still with ASAP. What we've done is we had a bungee and we basically tied this forward on like a, just any kind of accessory cord. This could be like a paracord or whatever. It just keeps this whole thing forward. And so now when I route it through and I, and I belay on the hall, I can, I can, put, I can put a, change of direction further back without worrying about this dead leg forming just with like a little bungee strap here. And as I pull, everything's nice and good. And then Steve fall, and then it locks off and we're good to go. Okay, moving on. So the Maestro on a raise. Um, this one is probably the easiest of all belays, um, period. Um, because all you're doing is following the hall strand as you come up. And that's that. So Steve, fall, and you're done. It's it locks. Uh, what we're gonna do is unweight this. Um, and even when it's un, if this is unweighted, it's still you can't pull anything through even when it's unweighted. So I can't I can't feed this rope through at all. Um, different story with the Maestro. Oh, uh, sorry, MPD. Different story with the MPD. That was the Maestro. I get those two confused all the time. Thank you, Steve. Uh, this is the MPD. And so if you look at the MPD, I can I can pull in either direction on this MPD when there's very little to no tension. So that's a subtle difference between the Maestro and the MPD. Um, but again, uh, belaying 
go on a haul with the MPD, it's just about the same as with a Maestro. So I can go hand over hand following the haul team. Um, and granted, like, like this MPD allows motion to come back out, but not when there's a, like a catastrophic impact force. Uh, so Steve fall because the motion and the shape uh, and the angle, the cam engages uh, and it locks up. Um, so like a gradual fall, he, it, he would just go, right? So at what speed does it take to lock up? So keep going faster, Steve. Right about there. It's pretty quick. Like it doesn't take much. So um, those are all the ways to kind of uh, belay on the haul with an assortment of devices, but the ones we use and carry most often.